types of fear. There's a fear of losing money. You do not want to lose money. You are even afraid to open a trade. Some of you, you can get a phone. When you get the phone, you can open a trade. Before the trade goes into profit, you are going to close it. And some of them, that's how they lose money and they blow accounts like that. So, it hinders you from not to become profitable when you are doing such things. So, we need to f- overcome the fear of losing money. So, you only become profitable when you overcome that fear of losing money. The number two type of fear, it is the fear of missing out. When the trade leaves you, just because you have seen a candle price is buying, you also want to buy. No, 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 no. When a train, when the train leaves you, you cannot chase it. Leave it. So the reason why some of you you are losing money is because that you are chasing the market. The fear of missing out. You don't want the market to leave you. You are trading half past. When you see a candle, boom. You want to open trade. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that, guys. Some of you, the reason why you're not being profitable, you do not have uh, oh, the patience to grow your account. You want to make a million in a day. You want to double your account in a day. The truth, let, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Some of you, you are working. You are working. Some of you, you are working. But if if you have got patience to wait for your salary for 30 days, why don't you have patience to grow your account for 30 days? If you have got patience to wait for your salary for 30 days to get paid 20,000 rands, why don't you have patience to grow your account in a month? Some of you, you want to grow your account in a day, which is impossible. Some of you want to grow your account in two days, which is impossible. So if you have got patience to wait for your salary for 30 days, why can't you have patience to grow your money in Forex? Because we are on business. What you are doing, this is real money. This is real money, just like any other thing. So we grow in any business. We graduate in any business, just like Forex. You grow in it, right? So you're going to find out something that, uh, uh, how do I become profitable? Listen, let me tell you something here. Losing a trade, it is normal. When you lose a trade, it does not mean you're a loser. No. Even me, myself, I lose trades. I lose trades. Some of you, you're about to give up. Things are bad. You're about to give up on foreign. Some of you, as I'm talking to you right now, some of you blow my accounts today. Some of you, you lost money today. But you don't have to give up. It is part of the process. It is part of the process. So when you lose in Forex, it does not mean that you are a loser. It does not mean that you are a failure. Okay? Even I myself, I lose in Forex. Even I myself, I lose in Forex. I hit stop loss. I cannot lie. My stop loss sometimes again. It does not mean that I'm a loser. So even you yourself, I keep on telling you guys that one day, even me myself, I'm going to see your posts and I'll be like, wow, these guys are doing it. I know you are going to do it. As long as you follow what we are telling you, you are going to do it. The only thing that you need to do is to gather yourself together and get the right information. Mistakes are good. Sunny. Mm-hmm. Mistakes are good, my son. Mm-hmm. Mistakes are very good. Mm-hmm. Do you know that blowing an account is good? Mm-hmm. Can, I, can I, can I, can I, do you know that blowing an account is good? Mm-hmm. Blowing an account is good for a beginner. Yes. Do you know why? Mm-hmm. Because the moment you blow an account as a beginner, mm-hmm. it's going to push you for you now to acquire knowledge. Mm-hmm. Because the more we make mistakes, the more we grow. Mm-hmm. If we do not make mistakes, we cannot grow. 